Okay then, Big Lee. So what we've got here, and for all these um, viewers on YouTube, um, and if we start swearing, well, I probably have to send it to Rumble as well. Over a bit, Ben. Yeah. Move it so I can come in, right? So the viewers can see me. So what we've got here, uh, eleven UK, a cheap gel. It's about a pound. Oh. You put it on. I, it's obviously you put it on. You ain't gonna do anything else with it, are you? But fucking eat the thing. But right. This does okay, but it doesn't hold your hair for very long and it can itch your head, but it's made in the UK. What we have here as well, got to be glued, a classic. I think it started in the early 2000s. They claim it's the biggest selling hair glue in the USA. Um, they have a different casing for it in the USA, but this is like their vegan cover, their vegan version, a nice texture to this, but the actual material, um, sorry, the actual paste inside uh, they they assume that they've changed the ingredients. I don't think that they have too much. This one, L'Oreal. I have no idea how this holds women's hair or anybody's hair too much, to be honest. But it's very actually popular. A big I've story about one. this in France. That's it, mate. The original. A uh, big yeah. story in France. People, they. Um, I think they used to try and smuggle this in. Excuse me, we've had a couple of drinks tonight, but. Couple. They used to smuggle this into the cut, yeah. Smuggle this into uh, into America, that into I think it was in the eighties. So this has always been a big seller. There's loads of different variations of it now. Again, it it feels strange. It's like um, it kind of makes your hair dry. Yeah, can yeah. itch your hair I've as used, well. Um, albeit it's been a few years since I've used a hairspray, but the minute yeah. you turn this round, I said the name. Yeah. Um, I was aware of it. It's like another one, silver cream. Is it? Um, yeah, it's like green. A, yeah, green or like a put with a purple lid. And yeah. it always, whenever I wore it, I, I just used to think, why? <laughs> like, and again, we, we'll go into all of this with all the different products. But hairspray is more of like a finisher than a main hair product. I've never yeah. felt that it was enough. I always felt I wanted more. With hair spray, especially with that kind, yeah, uh, and that is that's not necessarily a cheap spray. No, it is silver cream. No, and, 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 and yeah. some hair sprays are more expensive than the well, normal proper silver hair cream in itself. Though I mean, silver cream. I don't know what other countries they do it. It's for it's Weller. <laughs> silver cream's Weller. Yeah. The same co company as Shockwaves. Uh, that were the, you know they were massive in England in the early two thousands, around two thousand and two, two thousand and three. My opinion, their marketing looked a lot better in the early 2000s with their blue hair gels, a blue casing of hair gels. Uh, they brought in the mess constructor. So you understand what they're going for like, with the, the classic, like even the, the image on the front. Yeah, I try and, yeah and, and, and guys use this as well and they obviously yeah. sell the little versions of it. But I always felt, and I'm probably showing a sexist edge here, um, but with hairsprays growing up, in the 90s and obviously even now that it was a more targeted towards women generally speaking hair i think women. hairsprays are yeah uh women generally and that's not they to say that men can't more. use them that, you know silver queen though actually going with what big lee said is silver queen obviously like in the uk it's green case we don't have any here with us tonight but it's actually very strong hairspray and it might you put enough on and it'll make your hair go very like that crisp stiff um to kind of texture like the got to be will do with your hair got to be you put it on it takes i'd say about three minutes for it to dry if that uh you know it's, i think this has been now about five pound fifty in the uk but you can get it on discount from super drug every once in a while and tesco's and uh, even asda uh as a shame i actually had the got to be ultra glued as well but yeah, yeah. i don't you have i think uh i've not got a yellow one no, the ultra glue glues the black one, mate. The black <laughs> it's one. It's a shame because it's like I've got so many products in my bag. I'm thinking I was gonna go. It's a twist. I've got it. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna discuss that now, <laughs> and any later, viewers yeah, go Google later. it. It's the lazy way, the unorganised way, but got to be ultra glued. Uh, I bought it. I want to say in 2015 years ago when, and I actually got it imported from America at that time. The, because I checked, I went on the Got To Be website and I went, holy crap, you know, they've got so much more uh, Got To Be products in America than, we've, than what they've got here. And one of them was the Got To Be Ultra Glue, you know, uh, a taller uh, bottle, whatever you want to call that thing. 
So, but they soon brought it out to the UK and got to be ultra glue. It's been in the um, the UK for quite a while now. It's you know, it's it's it does pretty much the same this, as the glue to there, but I it's just, it's more of a hair sorry, gel. Sorry, this, mate. this is an interesting one because yeah. obviously I only saw it from the back and it kind of looked like treacle. It does, or tar. But then when I turned it, yeah, when I turned it around like um, Fraggle Rock or uh, was it the Flintstone, or something <laughs> <laughs> in over the hair. Or, or when in Last Action Hero, do you remember he falls into that load of tar and that pit? And he, and he falls he off said the that building. He said the image of the, the Joker with Batman, but obviously it's more for his face. But then it, it sends his hair green, so. In his case, though, you'd need a container to yeah, be like this, a green is, paste um, or something. When you're I've, green never, and... I've never seen any, like, hold fire for, for like a tar kind of. It's, very, it's, it's it's a weird one. It sounds super protein. You sure this is hair? Like hair? Well, they <laughs> say this. They say this, don't they? That the protein. Pro vitamin B four hair. And uh, if anybody, any like viewers, can uh, offer any insight oh, okay. on that, and um, Mas massage it's, 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 this, this isn't live anyway, never... but uh, it's um, made in the United. You know, we, we're shooting stuff. it pretty much straight from the hip. It you know, we're not. I'm not going to edit it this much. So yeah. I will say actually on this, you can get this usually in store, in not supermarkets, yeah, but more you like your news from? agent stores. I want to say I got it from a shop in Colchester, but they, they also have a hairspray and then live in hairspray. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think it costs you about £2.50, maximum £3. Like I say, made in the UK, but it can irritate the scalp. You know, I, I have problems that the I'm going to say here now. Uh, I have had products that have irritated my scalp in the past to shave my hair off and it was all red, it was all blotchy and you know sometimes yeah you want someone to do you a favour you just ask them to check out your fucking hair because you know, like if you see it you know because you're not going to be able to do this yourself I don't know I, I don't think the selfie stick's going to be able to get you to look inside and see if your scalp is inflamed. This, but we'll see. Yeah, go for it, mate. I just smell it as well. Uh, I get like even from the imagery yeah. of like how thick it is. I'm picturing it like yeah, tree core. That just smells really nice. Right. It smells really nice. It's, it does. It, it's it like does. a barber shop kind of um, that classic smell, like aftershave, like an old aftershave. It is. It, it, you know what though? This reminds me actually. A year ago, bizarre, like I'm again as we discussed. Oh before the videos back being shocked it's kind of like the smell and the consistency it makes me want to use it but yet the advertising on the market and it makes it look like a supplement like a, it does. a health product or whatever but then that kind of that would make me want to pick it up i'd be like what is it this? does actually it looks to me more like actually um something Super that you would it's like really not weird. put on your hair but something no. you'd consume for the gym well yeah on, honestly someone. like until you look at the bit where it says about directions massage into wet wet hair dry hair and style um yeah it's just uh, it's bizarre i've never seen anything like that they've got loads of different colors as well they've got a yellow version no, uh good. i think you can get this as well from the stores in the uk called the range they're like they sell um furniture pens stationery you know they're kind of an everything store um Right. right, so that's an interesting one. Obviously, in terms of the products, like you kind of know what you're getting with a hairspray. Yeah. What would you, if you were reviewing that, because obviously I think you reviewed uh, the other product, what would you, in terms of a hairspray or this, what would you, you, what would you say uh, is it worth? Out of 10 or in uh, 10 being the greatest? Well, well, I know that you like doing it out of five, so. I like five. I'll keep it that way. I, okay, oh God, uh, I'm, for its use, I'm going to give that three out of five. Yeah. It's marketed great. It is definitely a bit landed in the conscious of people. That's for sure. This you see this in movies, you'll see this in shows. That you, you know, you you always notice it, like from the gold can. It's funny because what you just mentioned now, I always had this. Yeah, and the gold and the imagery. Yeah, I always had that kind of um, perception that it was it's an, a vintage product that was used for like Hollywood. Let me get more in. There we go. It's my, <laughs> it's my turn. Um, more of like a vintage product that was used for like, say, celebrity women. Again, yeah. not trying to just be set or putting that sexist card yeah. down, but it's just growing up, I always had the image of like these sort of products used for like big name celebrities or the image of like a Tina Turner yeah. or going back a while, but like in video music videos of the big hair, you know, the, the hairsprays, but yeah. 
in terms of using it as a man and short hair, long hair, whatever, I've never felt it went ever above a three. Oh, On a silver cream, I've used a L'Oreal as well. I even think I used another one as an emergency at a beach where it was very windy and I had to get the mother's hairspray and I was like, okay, this is very strong, it's meant to be. And it, all it did was it just made my big hair go that way with the wind. So I put, I put it in and the wind just made it go just that way. And I was like, never that again. Situation. And that was years yeah. ago. I'm never, you know, if, if say you, you didn't have access to preferential hair products, I think it does a job, but I've never, I, I've never would say it's anything. I, I used it this morning. I think it was yesterday. Was it? No, actually no, I used it yesterday. But yeah, it's, it, it leaves big rot now, now, don't you? It's shorter now. Longer hair. Yeah, it's it's I think right it has back. more of an effect for like again a bit like yeah. the image for longer longer yeah longer hair. But it will still hold short hair. It, it's not yeah. that the hold is bad. Like this says normal hold, but I can guarantee if you play with you your hair like that hair. stuff, this will, this will be gone out your yeah, hair in no that's time. The issue. Um, that's the in issue. terms of what Liam said as well. He's, he's right about that. In Hollywood, they, this was when that, like, you know, they smuggled it in. It's been there for years. Mm. L'Oreal have obviously known to market what did they it well. They used to do, cover the eyes with the hand, cover the nose That's or it. whatever. And it always used to make me think, what chemicals? It reminds me a bit of that here? scene in Dangerous Liaisons as well, where they powder his fucking hair at the start. At the start of the film, they do all of his powder. Like John Malkovich is Dangerous Liaisons. He's got like a... Maybe it's like a mask or something where they're doing all the powder. We don't actually have any hair powder here with us tonight, but that could be uh, or, or, for the riveting or, sequel. Or do we? <laughs> <laughs> hey, run and get, some, run and get some flour. No, no one will know. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so move on. To... I'm going to say, because he mentioned the beach. This brings up, yeah, yeah. I've got to be favourite. They've redesigned it here in the UK. Um, there is a uh, paste as well, but this is nice, the sea salt spray. It doesn't have a particularly strong hold. I would give it out of a hold out of five, a two out of five, but it's a nice product. It smells nice. Um, uh, depending on the person, it probably could create an NLP anchor uh, of the beach. I bought it certainly to keep reminding me, I like to go for walks near the beach. So this really does kind of, nice. it, it, you like it mate? Yeah, no, it's not, like, obviously, like, we're... Today, uh, the we're scent not, we're is not, very important with hair um, products, as you probably all, all know. All of these products, just to add a disclaimer, we've obviously yeah. used these, not just once, but multiple times. Yeah. Obviously, these are all Ben's products over here, but yeah. just the smell alone, like, it, it's, like, obviously, we've, I've already smelled it, but yeah. it, it, does, it does have a really nice scent, and, and some products have a very artificial or yeah. chemically smell. And I think a lot of the time when you're picking out a product, if, if it smells good or it, it attracts you mm. with the packaging, that's half the purchase already made. And then obviously yeah. you don't know how good the product is until you put it in your hair. Yes. But all of these products we've obviously already used for our hair styling mm -hmm. over the years mm -hmm. and so on as we'll reveal later on. Um, in your opinion though, mate, uh, just, like it's obviously quite a stylish packaging. Yeah. But how much does it hypnotically even, even inspire you for the beach style? Even as beach mat, it, it's almost like advertising as such. But like, it doesn't show much about the beach. That's the weird thing though. With the blue. It, it, yeah, the blue. I guess the but waves, but that. not. Yeah. And, and obviously beach mat for uh, beachy hair waves. So you always picture like yeah. beachy hair waves as a surfer kind of wild. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say Australian, but the surfer kind that of That kind of thing. That's yeah. what they want to be doing. Got to be, want to be kind of getting that into people's, uh, let's call it unconscious, really. To like, the, Do you know what I mean? That's something that I think that I've not seen really seen any adverts on YouTube. I've not looked for them. But you'd want to get that all over. As soon as it's getting um, about, uh, let's say, May time, you really want to be getting people into this. And you, uh, if the supermarket should be, they should be having like little bits of sand near the area. They should really be plugging this right into people's um, subconscious. The thing is, like, you know, like, obviously, uh, businesses have a marketing budget. Yeah, but you think like th there's ways that they can put more effort into packaging and so yes. on. And yeah. all it is is it's just a design change because it's kind of basic. But yeah. if anything, with this one, it's in the right and it gives you that image. Yeah. 
you know, oh, if I'm going to the beach, even though it doesn't just have to yeah. be worn on the beach, it could be worn bloody whenever. And anyway, but sea salt, isn't it? It makes yeah, you yeah. think of that a walk beach. along well, even South the Bend it, in the like, UK or it's just South like, Sea in it's Hampshire. Pleasant, it's Hampshire and, pleasant smell. Yeah. Uh, it's, again, it's, it's kind of like a just obviously of the two products of smell, it's just the pleasant smell. So that, that obviously has appeal. It does it like uh, a say. We're yeah. going on to the uh, not, not so well, this not is so good. This is going to be interesting though. Uh, we have here, I'll show you this one, Lee. I have some of my own. Uh, well. This is actually unused, but this is like, as you can see here, it's kind of looks like a chocolate mousse. This is the original version of the, ah, this color. This you've is got slightly to burn. different. Slightly it is different my... than the one I'm. I'll do it is. There's another. It got to be. Uh, this is not their original client. Even and the, the originals and, and, and orange. And just to add yeah. the, the smell of that, even though I obviously I've got this product salty as well, isn't it? It, salty it, element. It, it smells. Um, the, like imagine if I was like blindfolded or whatever. But the smell of this is very. It brings me back to the exact product that it is. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like, you can smell like an orange or say like an apple when you know what it is. The minute I smelt this, I was like, I remember using this. Albeit, I have one in the bag. Yeah. It was years ago I used this, but I'll let you continue. But the smell is very... Um, it's got... It it's, takes you back to that. Yeah. It's hard to describe without smelling it yourself, but it's like certain products will use a smell... That a bit like an aftershave almost that will take yes. back to memories absolutely of a, absolutely of area or a location yeah a, like a great player product will do this uh i'm going to take a caveat for one moment actually there was a product an australian product they don't really sell it much here in the uk now but they had some uh, really nice smelling products and one of them was called the moose head dough and this had a, a strange scent to it it was like a chocolatey cinnamon type scent to it it was really powerful it was quite a greasy product but it was a great i i really liked it myself um moose head they also had one called the gritty styling clay and that had a very I salty scent that. yeah no, 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 I used it. yeah <laughs> it was, uh, it's, a, it, the, it's funny because obviously like when we go into some of the products i've, I've got myself it um just by you mentioning certain brands and names again, much like I said with the the smell of the got to be texture play, um, it it like rekindles memories of like yeah. times you've used a product yourself, and I think, um, yeah, it's just it's it's funny. It's it amazing, might, it amuses me actually because you can go to people where they know people McKenna does it's not knocking him, but sometimes you can go think of a time when you felt felt you know felt really happy, and you might not even be able to do that, but you go like that. Yeah, and you go straight you back. back and you yeah, straight yeah. back to it like that. That's that's crazy. It's almost the, the nose. Like a, a form of time travel. The, 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 and all in the nose. Yeah. Uh, unless a cold comes and disrupts it. Or, <laughs> or, or some other substances. But we don't do none of that. We like alcohol. So, um, and that that will be, a, alcohol will be reviewed in later videos. So, we have this. This uh, version of it, the Got To Be Clay. And now this one's going to be harder to get on the shelf soon. Got To Be Phenomenal was a brand. I think that the, it was an area of the Got To Be brand that they brought out in about 2015. And they brought it out with a paste product. Um, I think it was they brought it with a paste. They had a hairspray. I think they still do have the hairspray. They've redesigned it now. And they also had like kind of like a glue paste product. A flexible, yeah, well, reworkable, it's, very good just product. Just as you mentioned that, that might be the one I have in the bag. With a blue, right? That might be the one. We're going to go here. This is also the clay. But as you can see, Lee, it's, sorry, this one has been used, but it's undergone a makeover. It smells exactly the same, but a completely different colour and up. Exactly. Yeah, texture. Because I've not had that one before like it's not like i'm ruining the plot of a future part of the film but i don't think i've had the clay but i have had what was that the mat the mat uh what is it mat let me have a look if you think mate don't oh, you think as well as they well. look like ice creams actually this is like vanilla ice cream See, that's I, like chocolate I assume ice cream that was a fiber or putty by the look alone yeah. but yet I, I can remember the, the texture of this. It's almost like a hybrid of several different kinds of things. That's actually a good point, because I, I think Lee struck something there. I think Got To Be have tried to do that. Uh, the, the new look of this, it looks... I, I can't say off the top of my head, but I've seen products similar mm. to this before. Uh, I'd say that the new design does have a lot of style. It actually looks like the kind that you'd get in a high-end barber shop. 
yeah. like maybe even a London barber where you then they'd end up charging you maybe about so fifteen to be pounds honest, for the product. Like obviously, in comparison to the ones that I'll I'll take out, like it's not it it's not just that you've kept them in good condition, but they look more visually appealing than the the ones that I picked up. I think from like Asda, Tesco, mm. normal places where these ones look like a premium version of them. Yeah, I don't know if they are. It does actually. That's a that's a good name for it. Yeah. I'd say that this um, this this guy does look pretty good. Because pretty, originally, pretty originally when you took them out, or, were, or was going to get them out, I was like, oh god, they've got to be range because I'm, my experience is with what I'm going to take out with the ones that you have here. Um, the, the the raw material of the products inside might be the same, but visually alone, I would have picked I would have picked them up over with the ones I had. That's, Just that's by looking at them, I'd be like, yeah. So again, the marketing or the imagery and the design, um, and yeah. and and this is going to sound very strange. I'll go back to this, but the the feeling of uh, if you hold that, mate, that like yeah, that, that looks really basic. That looks, but you more feel like... it. But but the texture of it is very different from the original. So that yeah. in my case, it was a touch. It's funny because when I'm when I'm feeling this and the fact that like I obviously eventually go over the the different gels and and so on with that I've used. The fact that this is called glued and even like the, how it feels. Yeah. So we're just talking about the design and so on. But it, it is kind of important with how, if you're going to buy some, a new product, it's how it feels in your hair, how it washes off, and how it can be reused. So if you want to restyle your hair. So again, without going into specifics, all of these products, even the good or the bad ones, will do something completely different. Even though the irony is they all pretty much do the same thing. They stole your yeah. bloody hair. Yeah, they do. They do. I mean, let, let's be honest. Normally, when you break it down with hair products, it's either going to make your hair go very crispy and hard. Um, it's either going to make mm. it quite kind of greasy or like a reworkable. In the case of, we don't have this with us tonight, or, or maybe Lee does. VO5 reworkable putty starts off with the look of a gel with a, or a wax. Then it kind of goes to like maybe. this matte. Maybe. But I, I'm going to, hold with me one second. I'm just going to see if I've got the other books. I don't think I have. Um, I'm just going to see if I've got the other Hello. So I won't go through Ben's other products, but I know that he's got, oh, a Herbal Essence is one. That was the first ever, uh, first ever, first ever hair product I ever used was a Herbal Essence gel spray. So I must have been early 90s, so probably like seven or eight. But no, actually, tell a lie, probably a bit older, so like nine or ten. But that was the first that like obviously my mum would use hairspray, you know, like when you're not got control of your own hair and what you're what you're styling. Oh. But her, whenever I think of herbal essences, I think of a kind of an old brand, but at the same time the infamous um advert with the lady making lots of Was it making, okay, making lots of yeah, noises? Yeah, making lots of noises using the herbal herbal essence shampoo and that and then obviously as I got a bit older and I started being able to style my own hair. Um, that experience sadly was never replicated. Albeit it was a hair gel, it was not not quite the same with the shampoo. This this is obviously right, uh, yeah. Let, in this case, in it's a it looks like you brought over some goodies. Uh, so this is the uh, let's call it the remade cover of Got to Be Ultra Glued. So this is slightly <clears> different. <throat> so we've got to be uh, glued. It comes out as a paste like that. Uh, like kind of like a wax never, paste. Never, ever, I've seen all of these before or in different guises, but I've never seen that one. Before. My guess is, guys, without doing my research, uh, yeah, it's got to be ultra glued. Is not the most famous of them, but this is the one. I think this took a long time to come from the US. Uh, in the US, I was actually out in the States recently, and I can say that this, um, this, uh, let's call it casing, this cover, this bottle, whatever tube was not actually their version they've got there. They actually sell bigger. Uh, See, the weird, sorry, no, that's the weird, right, the weird thing is with this, not only have I not seen it, I've not smelled a product like this. It smells lovely, doesn't it? But it's, it's, it's weird, because again, it's like smells different. Like the ones that we've agreed yeah. on, it, this one is very artificial for me. Yeah. Does it remind you a bit of the But lips? it does, it, it's, it's, it, the more I smell it, it's like I try and, it takes me back again. It, it, it's weird because again we're talking gels here, so that could be what it is. Yeah. Because 
without like ruining the plot of this film not that it's a film but when it gets to me it, it, well it's going to be long so it's going to kind of be like a film um when i smell gels it takes me back to the 90s and when gels were the main for most guys not just you know for most guys i knew back then growing up in school and even going football or going out you know when 18 and so on gels were in the 90s the main thing yeah. for styling hair yeah not and it was more like if you went to your granddad in the 90s uh, of, a, of a certain age he would be using pomades and brill cream and so on without and without ruining all of what we're going to lead into because i can see what's on the table i think um the the gels gel. are so much, or, even though they're still around now i always felt that uh, gels were like a product of the 90s but they're still here today and they still do a job. And it was more of a case of that they could hold your hair well, they could hold it for hours, um, and just smelling them, it takes me back. That's why I was I was I was taking like I had to smell it again because it was like a lot of these gels, they 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 I was trying to place why what or why or where or when rather they remind me of something and obviously it was experiences with different gels from yes, years ago definitely i would say because i've not used a gel for years that's the plot twist with this and yeah. i keep saying plot twist but but, but this goes back to probably sh uh, shockwaves as we mentioned yeah, earlier we, yeah l'oreal schwarzkopf uh, and, uh, they're all and even brill cream brill cream this gels. one uh this one comes out like oh. a clear <laughs> so this is like a clear um, liquid, let's say, is it's slightly obviously different from the paste. I was expecting you to scrape more out there, Ben. Yes, uh, fucking hell. Uh, so I actually, uh, again, I say like the uh, obviously viewers can't feel it, but it does have a unique texture. The, the, yeah, the texture of the tube awesome. has been based on their vegan concept. So they say that they've See, got the vegan glue, ingredients. The glue, like, you're, like when you, and again, going back to like what we were saying about the feel, every product, even when it's been, say like there's a fiber, like American crew fiber, or a got to be fiber, even though they're meant to be fiber, they, compl they feel completely different and they smell different. True. You never get a product that will feel the same or smell the same. With a gel, though, I always felt that you knew what you were getting. Well, with this one, obviously the plastic's going to feel similar, but you can tell by pushing the material around or the glue. It's not until it's in your hair that you realise. It's like even if you blow dry it or even if you add it to wet hair. If anything, when I used to, back in the day with gels, I would dry my hair even though it said could be added to wet hair or damp hair. I always dried my hair first and then added the gel because I found that it could keep it, it would go harder quicker if that makes sense. Yeah. But with the wet hair, I'd have to wait. Yeah. So whatever style you put the hair in, you'd add the gel, but I would feel like if I went on the bus to school, if I went football or wherever, I'm not in control of how my hair's gonna look. Where I'd like it dried and then style it and then I'd know, right, for the next day, <laughs> the hair, I put so much gel in, it's gonna stay that way. But the problem with the gels that um, I found is that once it's in, it's not that it's difficult to get out, but you couldn't restyle it. Uh, you, it it, yeah. it, it ended it clumpy, like, yeah. or dry, it looked like you got dandruff, like they'd be, yeah. you'd pull your hair, you're like, I don't like that. Especially anyway. this one, and this is what's interesting, guys. Um, viewers, so, they're both factor six. So got to be glued is six and ultra glued is six. So technically why they're calling it ultra glued is an interesting what concept. Do, what do you mean by the So if six? you take, if you notice, both of them are six. So they're oh, both of okay. equal strength, but one of that them has be. the climb. It cannot be. <laughs> it cannot <laughs> be got to be. Don't make sense. Be got got Doesn't to, make sense. Got to, got to, uh, what's it got then, to be like? But live. then the weird yeah. thing is there's like, the, the, was it 96 per turn? naturally derived ingredients where well, this one's 88 <laughs> they're, just, they're just marketing mad yeah it's it? just like we, yeah right let's just <laughs> put them over there let's get them out of the There's, way uh, you go you could go for like a minefield of that so on this note Ooh. as well there's uh it, obviously the redesigned I just oh, it it's like, lovely. It's like a lemony. Is it a lemony? It's just it's 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 surprising me because obviously we've got to be. I've you and as I'll show after, I've got various products myself, but these are all new to me, and it's just crazy the amount of hair products there is on the market. I really, yeah. 
like some of these are older and obviously some of them are more new or that you could mm. buy and we'll eventually get to one that's kind of old school but yeah and even this one it smells pleasant it's kind of like like fructusy or kind of um citrusy and it's like a matte wax and you put fresh, this in your yeah. hair but it will look like oh. a gel or wax to begin with but then if you mess around with it so when you bit. look at that it looks like a harder material than it is but the minute i put yeah. my thumb on it it's still it's kind a of soft. very soft isn't it see of, of the products we've gone through just by the smell and how this feels and obviously without giving away with the information for myself it's kind of like this of the products we've used this would be one i'd be drawn to use myself uh, I, this is why i picked this up fairly recently this um this isn't the original design of the uh of the pot this is again the vegan so with a black lid i quite like it but it used to have a silver lid this product is, is not a, a new product it's been around for about 10 years i believe oh, really? in, in america it also looks different because the the pot is very different i believe okay, it's like I, a, sorry I the, just... the pot in america <laughs> looks like the um texturizing clay i think it's called they've got to be it's a an orange I've pot got that in one. The, Oh, not with... the orange, but black. But texturizing clay, I've got in have, the bag. Have you? Not, not the They're orange. Not the orange. No, no. That, that, I've seen a, that one. That, that is an that's why I didn't, scent, I seen, say. seen this one. I've never, never seen this one. Although the colour I've seen, but not of this spiking wax. Yeah. And the thing that confused me was obviously on the side, you've got screaming hold. I thought that was just a tight That's hold. a classic. No, screaming and hold then, is then, some of their old marketing. Yeah, it's a tribute because they used to have a on on the front of it. They'd have some guy screaming with his yeah, hair spiky. That, that advert or her, however it was, it sounds yeah. like it's bringing back a memory of. And they it. used to sell it in a box, a little box as well. Okay, uh, you used to have it in a box. They'd sell it to you in the box, and you the tube would be in the box. It's funny because when you see things, you try and you have like a. Um, if, if you've ever seen it or experienced it, you try and place yourself back to what, you try and relocate your memory yeah. to when you, you you see it. And the minute you said that advert, and obviously me reading Scream Hold, um, it takes me back to that. It's interesting so It's almost well. like a lot of these products are kind of like trying to um, rekindle a memory of when you were younger or another time. Like obviously, I've only, mm -hmm. this is the first time I've discovered this product, yeah. but... Again, going back to how it's advertised, how it smells, how it looks, it, it stands out more than these. But then again, it could stand out more because all of these I've used in some guys, like the gels and the clays of the got to be. And even the beach salt one, I think I've had a herbal essences spray yeah. that was like re revitalized hair from the beach or something like that. Some kind of marketing. And, and by the way, um, obviously sea salt spray, this is not the only sea salt, salt spray. Uh, fudge Urban, a derivative yeah. of the Fudge yeah, brand, the sea the salt spray. And uh, the, these products as well, um, they're far from the only uh, uh, products on the market. In terms of, there's so many more now. I think it's called Twisted Gorilla or something. There's yeah. a lot more of them coming up, and they can be very expensive. That, that reminded me, I've got. I was meant to put a note on my phone. That's the new brand. Coming First, out it's there. about twelve, thirteen pound. I'll get pot. I'll, yeah, <laughs> and that and that's um, the powder. That's like the powder yeah. one where you you can't necessarily control yeah. how much comes out. And so uh, I would say that I get eczema as about. well. When you sometimes though you can get like if you use a powder. Oh god, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was going to say like when I looked at that as a powder, I thought that's something a bit different. Uh, Brill cream England. Can't even take my hands. That's this nice. is Brill cream America. It's got a, a very citrusy scent. Uh, it was a gift to me. Um, from somebody who I was visiting in the States. and But you can order it online as well. And I've always thought that Brill Cream America has, an it was, has a, a very interesting scent to it. And a story in a way, because it is owned by Cohen. It's not owned by Unilever in the UK. Now, actually, I'm going to go on a tangent here, and I'm going to say they call Brill Cream out here in the Red Pot Brill Cream Original. Yeah, no, right. it's not. Because in the, origi the original Brill Cream was labelled as a pomade, and it was oh. actually made with beeswax. No, this is nice. made with beeswax. This is the best smelling one of the lot. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's very, the minute I smelt this, obviously, knowing you're talking about yeah. cream, takes me back to my granddad because he to make, used yeah. the 
original. Yeah. And even when I was little, I remember he, I think he had a shaving gel as well. It was like in a red pot yeah. and you'd lather it up with the, the uh, be I almost said beaver with it. Badger, badger brush. That's it. And apply that. And I just obviously growing up in your little and watching your granddad shaving like when he was six. Yeah. And I'm obviously little or 50 or even younger. And comb your hair back. Yeah. You slick it back with Bill Clinton. Always had that image growing up of the older man. He has that shaves everything off and he has the slick back hair. But yeah, the minute I smelt that, it took me back to then. And it wasn't just the Brill Chrome, it, it, it's bizarre. Either I have a very good sense of smell, I don't know. Or just the, the minute you smell, I, I suppose it's like It's like that, it's, it's it? ridiculous. It's, it's like, straight away it's like the fastest moment. time machine going. I've never smelt, they're like, obviously- I came this across region. this years and, ago. And but, the weird thing is like, looking at the consistency, it looks like an ointment. It does. It doesn't look like, um, a hair product per se it looks more like a hand cream yeah. or like oh, i try not to squirt they they, they describe this if i'm right without looking at it as a conditioner as well and yeah, i knew a hairdresser who well, it's got beeswax it. in it which again which, i'll go yeah. will lead into some of the more to say i don't want to say better because it, again that's opinion but like some of the more rounded products yeah have beeswax in them whether or not there's you know, truth to that condition in the hair and so yeah. on and the scalp. I don't know, but like how that consistency comes out. I would argue actually, like a, a this, this seems like that, you know? in a sense closer to the original uh, and how this was marketed. I mean, th this isn't the how it was uh, the first way it was marketed in the US, but in the United States, a lot of this was the, the advertising with Brill Cream, black and white adverts, uh, Brill Cream, just the dabble do, which is actually yeah, I mean, inspired the Flintstones, yabba dabba do. Uh, in the UK, they didn't seem to advertise it quite like this, uh, but the original Brill Cream was in a big jar, big glass jar in the UK. And um, both of these, you know, the US and the UK version, uh, they're not going to be exactly the same ingredients as the as when it came out. Uh, I think it was actually created in Birmingham here in the UK. Yeah, we did in India. That. In Weird India, that. there's Can I just say, my, my nan and granddad were from Birmingham yeah. for many years, and it's, it's weird that again you mentioned that it takes me back because the products he had in a little like in a, in the bathroom, he had a cabinet. And I just remember whenever he was having a shave or a hair gel, he opened the pro he opened the uh, cupboard door, the glass door, and it, it was br predominantly broken. I think he had Old Spice as well, the after you know yeah. the red aftershave. Yeah. But it was all old school products, and it was he probably even had this one. He had the red one. I remember for shaving. It wasn't like I was watching him bloody do his hair and that all the time. But I have memories of that, and like that was many, 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 many oh, years was, ago. But yeah, uh, I still remember in a relationship it. many years ago, actually, with um, with a girl when uh, her grandfather so her grandfather uh, would use apparently the red real cream. Yeah. But the pots were slightly different in the seventies as well. When the red pots came in, they are different now. Now there's grey on the pots in the UK. I'll, yeah, there uh, is. In our I've seen them. I've seen them. Yeah, I mean, like in Sainsbury's Tesco. That's it. You've got I've your big them. pot, uh, but as soon as it gets hot, grill cream can get a little strange. So sometimes <laughs> you need to put it in the fridge, and um, it can obviously go off. Yeah. So th this is uh, which, you know, lead, which you know, eventually I, I've used on, it on the beard as well. It, beard, it, it beard leads on to actually. some of my products in there because some of these are years old. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. obviously we're not going to be. Um, you know, taking them out on some, but it's more like just talking about them. So yeah, what's that's, that? That's, now that one's, right, okay. This is a very before, before we talk about this, the minute I saw this <laughs> and that sticker, it just took me back to being on holiday and, and you're like, no Liam, you cannot pack gel in the suitcase because it's going to go everywhere, even if it's new and not been open. The minute I saw that yellow sticker, it took me back. And I bought this by the way, holiday, in a shop in Basildon. Oh, <laughs> a shop in Basildon. I thought you Basildon. was going to say I bought this in Greece, no, Turkey, wherever. No, there's a fellow in Basildon that sells. I know this uh, place, by the way. I've read the name. He's, he's in the uh, in the, and in very, the bus and stop. Very, we, we, well, yeah. I won't say very good because it's almost like ad, free advertising. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I used to, and again, we'll lead into this. I hope I packed it, but I used to get a very good deal on going in there with prior knowledge and getting certain hair products. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's also, yeah, it looks a like a cheap got to be, doesn't it? It's small, but yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll go I'll on a segue. It. Um, it's a shame. Smell. I think it was um, Lidl. 
Lidl. They used to Ew. have a very great version of... This is a weird one. It's, um, it's, it's it comes like a gel. It, yeah. it, it, it's, it, if I, it's got the package, I've got to be glued. It, what comes out looks more like... I was going to say, this glued. reminds me of like a gel. Yeah, like it's, a gel that I've actually used. What's it called, mate? Uh, read that to our audience. One, Wonder Lace Bond. Yeah, Wonderlace. So, see if you if you just looked at that, say, and like you didn't read it, you'd think it's something for like shoes or yeah. any well, like anything but you, hair. You, you and even actually. smelling it, it smells very strong. Um, I've used well, that. It's even a strong like, product. Extra, extra I'd, I'd say that is extra, a five on holding your hair. And it's, even when I went like that, and it was like something from an alien film or yeah. or whatever a sci fi film, and then the smell of it. How it like felt. when you touch and the bloody egg it. or something and yeah. it's like it's gooey yeah, yeah. that's the like, image they're extra mega hold and that's why it took me back because again it, on holiday maybe with the English not translated as well and then you're like okay so there's no numbers and it's something and it's like maybe something you get you, you understand the hold part and then you you, <laughs> you put it in your hair and, and you're like Jesus like I regret putting this in my hair yes. be it like it just completely doesn't hold it yeah. or like with this i used the to minute jump I, and the say minute, viagra for your hair basically yeah the minute i smelt this without like and even then i just was like like even not even touching it it's it's provoked well you might not be able to see but it was like strands a bit like as i said straight away the alien eggs from the film aliens when the the face egg has come out and you got like this gel maybe this even stuff they use i don't know or similar, but it's, like you, strong, you can tell yeah. it's very strong, stronger than any of the others, and I've not even put it in my hair to know that it's literally going to be like glue. Yeah, and and that's and the that's, problem, guys, as well. Like when you go in the shower as well, they've got to be glued. You have to wash your hair sometimes very thoroughly. There are some products that are slightly infamous for how you can wash them out. Um, th this was difficult to wash okay. out. They've got to be glued. Can be difficult to wash out. You have to, you have to, you really have to kind of scrub through, and Dax wax, which is not uh, here. Uh -huh. uh, oh, is that's it? brought out. I have not brought that. That okay. went straight in the Dax bin. wax. I was got a very uh, as a reputation is is it's got a reputation as a great wax, infamous to wash out of your hair. Hence why they sell a product to shampoo yeah. to get the bloody stuff out I of your hair. That, Smart work. I found that out the hard way. I actually put that in my hair seven years ago, and it's actually still in there now. Fucking wouldn't be surprised. It would, yeah, wouldn't be surprised, mate. I, I, I'd imagine that people have had to shave their know. hair off to get. Oh, to I was so the desperate to get it out of my hair. I was listening to people online with their say, "Put an egg in it, put uh, fairy liquid, all of it, buy, buy the shampoo." And I was like, "I'm not doing you that." You know how and Peter that, Parker oh, feels with the fucking suit, the alien, don't you? But you ain't got that damn bell to get the thing off. You ain't got no bell. You can't ring I the bell. I and, felt. Yeah, I felt. Um. Depressed. <laughs> the minute the minute it was in my hair, I knew I fucked up basically because possessed, I was like, possessed, I was like, like stuck. Like, now that it's styled my hair and it, it's going to hold it, will it hold it till the day I die? <laughs> because it's like I, ne I never thought. I even after a month of different hair, I was even buying different shampoos and so. Not to um, bad mouth the brand that's that's wave and groom. No. Because I later bought the blue version of that. You think after the red version or the extreme hold, don't touch that brand. But yet the pomade, the blue version that's a light hold was very good. The, the blue very dax good. comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Is, that, is it in still in the it metal was, pot? It was more like a, yeah, yeah, but blue. And it was more like a kind of the consistency of this over, say, it wasn't even, yeah. when you took the red stuff out, it was more like, okay, it comes out okay. You had no idea of what, it would do to your hair. Uh, I heard that. In uh, terms in of, school, I only bought it guy, purely bought to save money. money. Yeah. yeah, I learned the hard way. Superdrug actually sell in, in the UK Dax wax, but they've got loads of versions with an orange tin. I generally have avoided because of that. I think I may have tried the red, uh, the, the red pot. Wasn't it like a mustard colour inside the wax? Yeah, it could go that way after a while. But uh, another honourable mention, guys, as well, Big Lou, black and white wax. They say Johnny Depp uses it. Um, black, black, and white. black and white pomade with, with, um, it, or the brand they call it the black and white um, yeah the, the wax but I think they Pluco they call it Pluco yeah, yeah. okay because um, we've gone through the products and the time's getting on 
It's time for we're part... Gonna, we're gonna, part two. So stay tuned, like, subscribe. Um, what else did I say? Um, I can't think. <laughs> it's, it, this is a long video. Let us pray for the algorithm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Click like, subscribe for the algorithm and all of that. Well, uh, but we're not going to stop this. We're going to no, we go straight we're, we're into part, go two. In straight part there's, two. There's no adverts let, coming on here. the way, you press the button or do you want me to press the button? Oh, well, should we just keep it running? Keep it running. Well, can you edit it and cut it into? Because it's already 45 minutes. Yeah, then. Might as well. It's a long video.